Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to continue on to make some journaling cards with the scrapbooking uh, supplies because I have a lot of scrapbooking supplies and I've got a lot of cards to make. So we need to make some cards and some tags. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of our pre-made cards here and I think I'm going to make it into a tag. And all you do to do that is create the side Bloop. like that. And flip it over and go bloop on that side too and voila you have a tag you don't like the angles we can fix them you can make them more angled I think I want mine to be more angled just slightly oh this will be fun There we go. Voila. And there you go. And you have yourself a tag. And you can do a lot of things with the tags. The punch holes in them, for one. Let's punch holes in this one. Where's my hole punchy punch? I think someone ate my hole punchy punch. Give it back. Give it back, you thief. Actually, I think I probably put it away. All right. Um. right. Let's see. Did I put it away? I did. Grab that. Um, actually, no. I've got a better idea because we're using scrapbook supplies, right? So, how many of you have brads? Lots and lots and lots and lots of brads. Me, I do. I have brads galore. So, I am going to punch a super teeny tiny hole and we're going to use a brad um trying to figure out where I want to put the hole hey there super teeny tiny hole okay as soon as I find my brad I will show them to you Let's see here. This is some scrapbooky stuff that we've got. Um, some different um, ephemera, if you will. Uh, this is thicker, so it's going to add some dimension to your journals. And if you don't care about that, then by all means, have at it. Um, I think I'm going to add a couple pieces of this one and. We'll do this one. Now both of these need to be inked because we're inking everything in the in these journals. So oh, which means we need to ink around the card itself as well. Alright, so there's that one. And these are Tim Holt stickers, so there's not necessarily a lot of inking to do, but because we started, we got to finish that way. So I'll ink around the journal card after I get these down. So you know what I didn't do? I didn't grab, I said in my last video that I was going to grab the, um, the die cuts and such that we've, like, I'm sure that we have all collected over the years. And um, I forgot to do that. But that's okay because I do have some die cuts that uh, aren't really die cuts. They're fussy cuts that I have um, fussy cut myself out of scrapbook paper. And we're going to go ahead and lay everything down and then I'll ink around the edge. And it'll work out that way because I'm going to trim the edge. And I don't think I'm going to use... Um, lace on this one so I think it'll be okay greetings I like that greetings Let's see what else we got oh ice skates how cute I love that oh zuki cat zuki cat 
So these are just some um, Christmas is love in action. I like that. One of my journals is Christmas. Like there's no getting around it. It says it on the title or on the cover. So one of the journals will be Christmas and one of them, uh, three of them will just be generalized um, winter. Goodness gracious me. I could not think of it. Mm, I don't know how I want to do this because I want to try to keep all of this. There we go. That's pretty. Okay, so let's find the brads here and let's see what we've got that might go well with this. I'm going to go with none. <laughs> okay. So in that case, um, oh, gracious me. What have I done with all of my brads? Um, I don't know what I did with all my brads, but what I do have is some super tiny ribbon that will work just fine. And this is some silk ribbon. Um, it's just what it's called. It's not actual silk. I don't know why I feel it necessary to say that. I say that every single time I say that. Um, just call something silk ribbon. And, you know, if you really wanted to, you could actually tie this again and you could make this an ornament saying um all right so how did we have this like this right and then this one down here like that perfect and so this is some fussy cut nope gosh dog it ink silly ink so this is some fussy cut that i took out of the stamperia christmas line I want to say it's their new Christmas line, but I don't know if it's like the newest or if it's last year's or what, but it's Christmas and it's from Stamperia. That's what I got. And I've got glue all over me. I always have glue on me, I swear. But then again, don't we all? I mean, that's how we know we're having a lot of fun is we're covered in glue. Right? That's like the, the telltale sign of a good crafting day. Being covered in glue or paint or gesso or, you know, clay. Some people do clay work. Oh, I wish I could do clay work. It's so pretty. Like pottery work. Oh, it is so gorgeous but I play with paper. That's what I do. And I love it. So I am very happy with what I do. I love what I do. We should all love what we do. I think there is a lady who got me into journaling or actually she didn't get me into journaling. She got me into YouTube. Um, cause I loved crafting, but I was never really confident in crafting, but I loved crafting and I wanted to share my craft with everybody. And, you know, I was like, I really want to start a YouTube channel. And she's like, go for it. I was like, what? No. She's like, yeah, it would be great. And she's always been like so supportive. Her name is Melissa. Um, and she's an author actually. And, um, she writes young adult books and, Anyway, her channel is called Do What You Love. And I thought about it because I was just like, you know, we should all do what we love. And actually, she changed the name of her channel. It's still Do What You Love, but it's, um, what she changed it to? Do What You Love Large is the name of her channel. All right. Oh, my gosh. That is so pretty. I love that. And see, you can do a lot with just scrapbook paper. Like this is scrapbook paper, this is scrapbook paper, this is scrapbook paper, this background is scrapbook paper. These are scrapbook stickers. So is this actually. The only thing that's not is this 
and this. That's it. Even the card the that we covered, even that is not your typical junk journal supplies. But see, that's the whole glory of junk journaling, right? It, or journaling in general, is you use anything and everything. There are no rules, really. And anyone who tells you there's rules in crafting, you should kindly remind them that creativity is should not be bound by rules. And be kind about it. No need to be nasty. But anyway, that is another one that we just did in 10 minutes, nonetheless. I mean, 10 minutes. Granted, some of that was already done for us. Like the card itself, we did pre-do the cards. So I'm going to leave that long for now because I don't know what I want to do with it. So I'm just going to set this aside with the other one that we did yesterday. Isn't that pretty? And let's grab another one. Why not, right? So let's do, actually, let's do one of these. I want to turn one of these into Christmas. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but we're going to, we're going to make it happen. All right. We're going to bend this kind of the other way because it's like all bendy bendy and I don't want it to be bendy bendy. Okay. So let's grab our cutouts again that we have done. This is really pretty. And it might actually break this up a little bit, I think. How cute would that be to put a belly band on a journaling card? Really? Oh my gosh. We are so funny. I like that. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to ink this thing. Okay, so I've got to take this off though. Or at least like that. And can y'all see the difference that it makes? Can you see the difference? I remember when I first started, I was like, why would you ink the edges? I can't even see a difference. And on the camera, it's really hard to see the difference. But when you do it in person, you really can see a difference in what that ink does. And your colors also matter too. Because um, the darker your colors, obviously, the more significant of a difference you'll see. But, bloop, there we go. Bloop, bloop. All right, so oh, that is super cute. I don't know if I want to do a belly band, but that is really cute. I don't know, but I am going to cut, I am going to cut this. All right, bloop. All right, hold that, dude. All right, let's ink this before, before we get going. And this is also scrapbook paper, obviously. This came from a pad that I got a very, very long time ago from a yard sale. I'm pretty sure I got this in Hawaii, but I can't be 100% sure. And when I refer to Hawaii, when I say I got this in Hawaii, that's over 10 years ago. For those of you who don't know, um, my husband is military. Uh, we move around a lot. Um, he's been military for 15 years. And we've got five years left and then we're done. Well, ish. Depends on really his career. Because uh, if he makes E9, he might have to stay in a little bit longer. But anyway, uh, we've been all over the place. We are currently in South Carolina, for anyone who doesn't know. And we're about mm, 20 minutes from Charleston. And I have no problem telling you guys, you know, where I live. I live behind gates. And my gate, the gates where I live are protected by ARs. So I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, I think I want to put some lace on this and not a lot. I don't want like a super, super duper wide lace, but wide enough that I can see it. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yes. 
Oh, yes. Very, very, very good. Okay. And this is even great, too, because this scrapbook paper. Granted, the lace is not scrapbook paper, but we're using what we have, right? And if you don't have lace, think of an old t-shirt or an old curtain or an old pillowcase, a sham. Um, I know that my husband's grandma used to um, do not work. Uh, it, the, it's called something and it's, it's not crochet. It looks very similar to crochet, but it's super tiny, like real tiny. Anyway, um, and she would have these like doilies all over her house. They were just everywhere. Um, every single table had one of these doilies on it. Tatting, that's what it's called, tatting. And um, she's passed away now, but I mean, they were just gorgeous. And I wish that I would have been able to get some, but at the time, I had no idea what it was. I just knew it was pretty. Um, but my point is, is that you can use stuff like that. I would not go and take your grandma's tablecloth. She might smack you. Uh, or bop you upside the head. Don't do that. Go upset grandma. But what you can do is you can look around your house. Um, oh, and I'll show you something else you can use. Instead of... I mean, don't get me wrong, I want you to have lace because, I mean, that's, I sell lace. But, now, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if I want to put that there or not, but I definitely want this here. Um, but anyway, you can look around everything. I have got a dress that I found at Goodwill like a year and a half ago, two years ago, and it is hanging up in my laundry room. Because, uh, I mean, I washed it. It's hanging up in my laundry room, and I have not done anything to it. But I got the dress because it's just solid lace. Just lace upon more lace upon more lace. It's crazy lace. So I use plastic to squish this because one, I don't like fabric tack on my fingers because it's very painful to get off. Not painful, ow, but painful, frustrating. And two, because it will come right off of plastic. Easy peasy. You just like scrape it off. It's gonna come off. All right, let's clean that up a little smidge. Bloop. Okay, I didn't want fabric tack on my fingers, but I'll put them on my scissors. <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay, so trim that up smidge. There we go. Okay, let's find something to go right here. Um, I do want something flat, so let's go back to our cut apart. Here is, um, this is scrapbook, or this is digitals. These are digitals, but you can use scrapbook paper. I've been using scrapbook paper this whole time. Um, I'm just looking to see what's in here. Oh, aren't you pretty? That'd be kind of ironic though to cover up all of that that we just did. Don't want to do that. And these are like super, super tiny. Like, I cut all those out. Aren't you proud of me? The angel time. The jingle bells. Oh, this one's pretty. That's a ticket. Let's see what else we got in here. Let's go back to our, oh, there it is. That's why I grabbed it, because I couldn't find this one that was right beside me. So 
So I'm trying to hold it over here so you guys can see what I'm doing as well. With love, greetings, kitty cat, joy, believe. Hmm. You know, I'm not sure. I really like this one. I keep going back to that one. I'm trying to get something a little smaller, though. That's the thing. Oh. I wonder if we've got some... Again, just sticking with the whole non-traditional, you know, supplies or whatever. How many of you guys have paper doilies? Not fabric doilies, paper doilies. Um, I have a couple. And let's see if I can remember what I did with them. There they are. Oh, can you come out without me making everything fall? Ooh, I did it. I'm so proud of me. Okay. So there is, and yes, I keep these boxes every single time we get a new laptop. I keep these boxes because they are amazing. This particular box is when I bought my laptop. Oh, so long ago. I bought my laptop back in 2012 and yeah, uh, this might work. break it up a little bit. I don't think I have anything super small. But as you can see, I've got a couple doilies. Um, wait. Do -dum -do -dum. Okay, let's see. We'll use this one. Let's throw this back up there. And then we'll have a piece of doily that we can play with too, because we're not, obviously, we're not going to use the whole thing. Oh, please don't fall. Uh, we're only going to use part of it. So let's take you and put it right there. All right. Now we're just going to make a straight as can be line here. Okay. And we're gonna put you right there. Okay, I'm liking this so far. And then put you right there. What do you think? What do you think? I should probably zoom you guys in a little bit, huh? All right, let's go this way. There we go. I actually really like that. And you could use the paper doily as well on the bottom. I don't like using the paper doily on the bottom like that because it is very fragile. Now, something that someone mentioned and Ms. Gale did it to get the glue all over here without um, damaging it because you can obviously use a glue stick and just go all over the place. She said put glue on the back of your hand like this and then spread or dab or whatever, the doily on your hand. Now, obviously, you end up with glue all over the place. Uh, the first time she did it was hilarious 
because she used Fabri-Tac. I don't know if you guys know this, but Fabri-Tac is a pain in the tush to get off your skin. All right, now let's put this over here, like so. And lay that down, just like that. What is on me? <laughs> what is this? Where does that even come from? <laughs> oh my gosh, I have no idea. Okay, so now I have glue all over me, which is fun, but like any crafter, we have baby wipes at the ready. And voila, and you can take the ink off of your fingers from wherever that came from. I'm glad I noticed that before I touched anything, as in like my clothes, because I actually have a brand new shirt on, just got it today. It's very soft and it's an extra large, which is really great because um, I used to wear like six months ago, I would have to get like two and three X to be able to like put it on and wear it comfortably. Um, But now I can just pick up an extra large, doesn't matter from where, and just pick up an extra large and I know it's going to fit, which is pretty amazing. I am down six inches across my waist. I am down four sizes. Like it is insane. Um, so I went from six months ago, I was a size 20. And now I am, I just bought a pair of Capri jean things at Walmart and we got them at Walmart because I'm not done. Like I'm not done shrinking, if you will. So I uh, got them at Walmart and didn't, cause my husband's just like, are you sure you don't want to go to the next? They have like better quality and whatnot. And it's all over my glue. What did I touch? Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, and I was just like, no, cause I'm just gonna have to buy another pair in like two months. He's like, yeah, I didn't think about that. I was like, I know. But anyway, so uh, I bought two pairs of 16s. One of them fits amazingly and the other one's actually too big which is pretty awesome, honestly. Okay, so we just made a journal card with a belly band, mind you, um, with scrapbooking materials, minus the lids. Isn't that awesome? I love that. So what we did today was this card here, which you can actually see up close and personal now because I zoomed you in. So there's that one. I love this one and this one belly band and you can put, you know, other journaling cards in there or oh, I'll take it. Boop. That's not a ticket. It's a tag, whatever. You know what I mean? So anyway, I thought we did really good for 30 minutes. We got two journaling cards out and one of them has a belly band. So that's pretty amazing. So super quick, easy to do, and it doesn't have to be super complicated. Like just use what you got. That's it. Just use what you have. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching again, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.